the routing part, guys. So what are the what are the different types of routings? Can you able to do it on the routing? Let me share you my screen. So as we can see on the screen, guys. So why we required routing? So as we know that, OK, so. Routing protocol is one which is used to connect with the two different networks. So as you know, so this is my routers. Two routers has been connected with each other. So where we are running, OK, a lot of networks inside. So this is other network. OK, which you are running there. So this is my router one and this is my router two. OK, so as you know that so internally, so they can communicate with each other, right? If it is directly. Connected. If it is connected through this is your WAN link. And this will call. Your LAN link. Please remember guys this. This is your LAN link. Okay, this is your WAN link means wide area network is connected for your other network. So for this, if you want to communicate with these two network. OK, so in this scenario, so we are going to use your. Routing protocols In routing protocols. We are going to discuss about the static routing default routing. And as for that today, so we shall discuss only these two routing protocols static and default. If you talk about uh, Dynamic routing, so dynamic routing has got two types again. So IGP and e, uh, EGP. So in uh, IGP again, it has been segregated into a distance vector routing protocol. OK, and link state and EGP are your path vector routing protocol. OK, so this we have to remember guys. So in distance vector routing protocol, we are going to discuss your RIP version 2. OK, and EHRP, not this. RIP version 1. So we are going to discuss the RIP uh, routing information protocol. Version 2 and EHRP. This is also we call distance vector routing protocol. OK, link state routing protocol is nothing but your OSPF and ISIS. And your path vector routing protocol is your BGP. Sorry, uh, BGP protocol. So again, BGP has got two types again. OK, so IBGP. And your EBGP. So these two protocol also we shall discuss. So after these guys, so it takes a lot of time. I think it takes uh, five days of this to complete. OK, so then after this, we are going to also discuss about redistribution. Redistribution in the sense. So one side you configured RIP. One side you configured OSPF. OK, in this scenario we can do the redistribution from this side to that side. OK, from this side to that side and that side to this side so that they can communicate with each other. That is called your redistribution part. This one also we shall. Discuss guys. So after completing this all, then we'll go for your band technology. OK, so now let's discuss about this. What is the static routing? OK, static routing was idea for the small network guys, where the network is very small networks where you are running uh, around I think can say 500 employees is is enough. 500 employees means 500 PCs. Is configure recommended your static routing. So dynamic routing is suitable for that your large network. Okay, we can wow. see a uh, large network. So you can see about your dynamic routing, especially if you are BGP, you are OSPF, where you are going to configure your big networks. So, where is a static configuration? 
uh, routes involves less cost and easy can be easily maintained by your network engineers. OK, uh, for you guys, it's very easy to manage the network. So router are not updated dynamically in the routing table and hence cannot be detected inactive routers. OK, if say example, so this is my router, so which is connected to other router. This is my R1, this is R2. If these router links go down, OK, so your static routing is not uh, come to know this router is down. He'll not update his routing table. That is one big issue in the static routing. OK, so one more one good advantage means we can see. So we can see uh, it come down here. Some of the this thing is uh, clear. It is not so good because I'll try to explain. OK, statically means manually you are telling to the routes to reach to this network. If you want to reach to this network, OK, go via this IP address to reach to this network. So example, uh, this is my 192.168.1.0 uh, slash 24 network. Okay, And this is 192.168. This is 2.0 slash 24. To reach to this network, you have to configure in this router R1. OK, to go via this IP. Same side, this one. To reach to this network, so go via this IP. So IP might be, you can give any IP, 1.1.2. OK, this is 10.1.1.1. Go via this IP. So this router will reach to this network via this IP. OK, this is how you can configure. So what is the advantage of this one means because you know the router has got very less job because manually we are telling to reach to this network. OK, the ad good advantage of the static routing is. It is a less CPU. Utilization. OK, but for the network engineer, he must know so just imagine if you have around like 1000 PCs are connected. So obviously your network will become big, right? Right, the network engineer, OK, the network engineer must know how the topology has been connected each other, each router, how they have been connected. There's a lot of complex network also you should be able to remember. He must know the entire topology to understand the network. Then only he can able to configure. OK, now uh, discuss about some of the important topics for this one, guys. If you talk about your uh, dynamic routing, the dynamic routing one is cost in terms of the CPU process and bandwidth on the network link. Your dynamic uh, routing protocol, it consumes a more bandwidth because frequently it send a hello message. Because obviously it consumes a more bandwidth. But at the same time, it also gives the any update, any failure in the link. So he, he can able to update. OK, fine. So this guy is come down. So I need to delete its routing table in my network. What is going to do is going to delete this network. In case of your dynamic routing. Fine. So one more advantage uh, thing is routing protocol find the route for your 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 uh, transversing the packets. It will send a keep on sending your hello message. Uh, whether the keep on a message, whether uh, he's uh, up or down. Same thing how I'm doing every day. Right, so hello guys, how are you guys? Right, something you'll not play also. I'll just on your uh, I'll ask them to on the camera. Means I'm sending your other uh, keep on a message. Right. So in, it is happened yeah. only in, in dynamic routing. So in starting routing is not possible. Routing protocol update on the routing table with any update routes. Maybe you connected one more router here. One more network here connected. Just imagine this is a 3.0 slash 24 network. When new network connected, it will update in this routing table slash 24. Same thing here also. 2.0 and 3.0 network. 
OK, so I hope it's clear, right? Understood, guys? Yes, well, yes that's French. OK. okay. Uh, let's discuss about what is administrative distance. Any idea, guys? Administrative distance also will call AD value. OK, guys, please remember for the static routing. Okay, the AD value is one. OK, this is the first one. If it is directly connected. The AD value is zero. OK, uh, for your RIP. RIP protocol, the AD value is 120. For your EIGRP, okay, administrative value is 90. For your OSPF, 102. 110. Okay. For your BGP, uh, BGP has been. Yeah, so border gateway protocol, it has got two one IBGP and EBGP. If you talk about IBGP, OK, the administrative distance is 200. OK, for EBGP. OK, the AD value is. 20. So here lowest AD value is the best path. Remember guys. So as per this topology, guys, as per this topology, it is connected directly, right? The AD value is zero, right? These all are connected. AD value is zero. Static routing AD value is one. Miss. <coughs> so it is a very reliable communication, guys. The lower value is the best. Understood, guys? And this is also we'll call it. We have to remember, guys. This is another part of your CCN examinations. Even for assessment also, I'm going to ask. At the middle, I will ask the AD value also. We have to remember this all. This all you have to remember like anything for your entire career of your uh, being your network engineer. You must remember this because you know when you open your packets, any monitoring tools, okay, so they will not be available for your here is configured EHRP, REAP, OSPF. No, you can see only these numbers there. By seeing a number 90, you can find out that so it is uh, it has been configured EHRP. If you see 110, 110, okay, so we can come to know it has configured OSPF. Understood, guys? Yes, touch. Yes, touch. So can we do the lab for this static routing guys? How static routing will be configured? OK, yes. First thing is we're going to start with the static routing. OK. So right now I have this already configured, so what I'm going to do now. So now, so I'll change some routing. This one, guys, IP addressing. So IP interface B. So what is the lab for this, guys? Let me write it down here. So this is our static routing. So let me, I want to change the IP address, guys. So how do I change, guys? I want to give this IP address. Here, I want to give 192.168 because uh, just to avoid the confusion, guys. 
Okay. I will I want to give this 191 to 68 here and this I want to give here. Okay, so how I, I can give just uh, global configuration mode. Okay, go to global configuration mode. Change okay, if you wait. Okay. No IP address. You check show IP. Show IP interface brief. You can see it has been erased, right? Same thing you can do for serial also. Zero slash one slash zero. Okay, no IP address. Right, so even I have configured DSCP, right? So no IP DSCP. Full I think entity, right? Do you remember I had given, right? I removed that. Now we can see. So still is if you talk about static and default, it will take a pipa now because I removed DSCP, right? Yes. It has taken from a pipa. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let's do that now. So what I will do? A label I need to change, right? This I'll put it here. This I'll put it here. Okay. And this guy will put, and this guy we will change. This I'll make it to 10. 10.1.1.2. Okay, so first tell me that how many are there here? Network here. Before I go for the static routing, so I want to know networks. How many are there network? Two. Two. What are those? Two routers. Can I two routers. Here? Number of networks. Number of networks. Okay. First one is which is the first one? 192, 168. 1.0. Then second one. 10.1. 10.1.0. Slash. 8. Right. Then third one. Third one. Third one. One ninety two, one sixty eight, two dot zero, right? Yeah. Understood, guys. First, understand this. Let me put it down some coloring, guys. This is one network, guys. Correct? And this is another network. Up to here, this is one more network. Okay, and this guy also has separate one more network. Is it okay? Yeah, that is. Right. So otherwise, you, uh, you can't understand this. The other reason I have written this one network. So if you want, I will write it down the label also. Uh, this is my which network. This is 10.1.1.1.0 slash 8. Right. Okay. And what about this network? 192.168.2.0 slash 24. So what about this network? 192.168.0 slash 24. Yes. So just to understand the which other networks we are running here. So now we can able to configure right right from the scratch. OK, so what are the things the task we are going to do it now? So first task is I'm going to configure let uh, write it down the task as well. OK, so first thing is what we are going to configure here. So first task is assign the IP addresses as per the diagram. Yeah, yeah. Okay, second second thing is configure DSCP. DSCP. Okay. To 
both networks. <laughs> Two networks, right? And third one is configure static routing. Static routing. If you want to configure telnet all this, that also we can configure. Let's complete the first task now. The first task will be let's start this now. Show IP interface brief. First check what are the interfaces available. Okay, so we have not assigned any IP address as you now. Okay, so let's configure this one, guys. So config p interface gigabytes zero slash zero slash zero IP address. Yes. So 192, 168, 1.1, 255, 255, 255, 0.0. Okay, so give no shot. And then serial, 0 slash 1 slash 0, IP address. So what is IP address? I can give 10.1.1.1, and going to mask in this, and give a clock rate for this as right, 64,000. Okay, give no shot. No okay, then configure DSCP pool. So I'll give entity okay, network. I'll give 192.168.1.0. Give the subnet mask. Okay, default router is 192.168. So I'll give 1.254. Last IP address. Okay. RS, we can give 1.1 also. So I'll give 1. These things. DNS, there is option if you want to be the DNS, you can be the DNS. Okay, so uh, this is done, right? So I must guess the IP address now, right? So let's check that now. Okay, so I'm getting the IP address, right? For all the PCs, automatic now it is getting now. Yeah, so. Everything will get automatically, no issues. Yeah. Okay, so this side is done, right? So now we have to go to configure with this one. This router. Yeah. Router one, router two, yes. Yeah, this is my router two. And show IP interface check interface first. IP interface brief. So right now it has already as an IP address. OK, just I want to remove first. Time. OK, go to interface. Gigabytes 0 slash 0 slash 0. 0, 0, 0. No, okay, no. IP address. OK, then give the IP address. I want to give 192.168.2.1. 1. 0. No, shut down. No, I think I have to get it, I think. I can use gigabyte zero slash zero. Zero slash three zero, okay. Interface, serial, zero slash one zero, slash zero. zero. Okay, no IP address. No first. IP address. IP address. IP address. 10.1.1.2. 255 per week. Gas okay. Zero. So no shutdown. Okay, so now all the interfaces must up now. DHCP. So IP interface brief. First check before going for DHCP. So as per the diagram, we have given the IP address or not first. Okay. So now you configure the DHCP. IP DHCP pool. Here also will be NTT. I give the network 192, 168, uh, 2.0 network and give the subnet mask. Default. Right, so default router is 192, 168, 254, sorry, 1. I think the 2. Right? Okay. Yeah, 2.25. Yeah. So DNS server we can give 4.0. <sighs> or we can give the 10 this side. So now the IP address must get right now. Okay. Now it has taken previously 40. 
So now it has to take one anti two. You test taking right. Okay. OK, so now we can see guys. <clears throat> before configuring the static roti. OK, so if you check connectivity from this laptop to router, OK, they can communicate, right? Because it is directly connected. <clears throat> this IP address DHCP was not uh, configured in that only for uh... Interface of zero only we have connected. Okay. For all the switches, so for all the devices in the router one. Okay, so now it's coming communicating, right? You can see, right? Yes. Bring this to this. I think all will be not configured, I think. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, so now it's taking. What about this? Yes. Okay, so now they have reachability, right? So server to router. Yes, success, right? So yes. directly connected, they can reach to each other. Okay, so this all network are able to communicate with each other, right? These all guys, so they can communicate to each other. So now check from this to this router. From this router to this router. Yes, they, they can reach that because it is directly connected. connected. Now, now check from this router to this PC. It's fine. How many times you check? Is going to show you the fail because it is a different network, right? We cannot communicate. Whether you check from this side, this router to this server, no. Router to server again is going to fail. Okay, for that we need to configure your static. Static. Route. Route. So how do I configure? OK, so how to configure is right now I am in router one. So IP route. OK, let us give the question mark. We can see. Destination prefix right now I am in R1 to reach to two dot network. What is two dot network? One ninety two one sixty eight. OK, two dot zero network. Give the question mark. Give the submit mask for this. Zero. Give the question mark. So how you want to move? Whether you can give the exit interface or serial interface, or you can give the IP address. Okay. So what I will do? I will give the IP address. So IP address how? Which IP address? Go via ten dot one dot one dot one. Because this IP address. If you want to reach to this network, if you want to reach to this network, go via this IP. Or else we can give an exit interface also. Next stop invalid. I think two. Because this neighbor is directly connected, right? This IP. It's asking us to give the this IP. To reach to this network, go via this IP. Understood, guys? Can you able to see my this one, guys? Karzar? Ah, yes, 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 Taj. Yeah. Okay, so now same thing this side. I will go to this router now. To reach to this network, to reach to this network, go via this IP address. Okay, so how I can do that? Go to global configuration mode. Okay, IP, IP route. route. 
ping so 192.168.1.1 can i reach right yes so 1.2 1.2 is a router 2 ip address check 1.3 Is there any one dot one one dot two IP address guys here? Check what is IP address this. He is one dot two. Okay. So why? Because you know the gateway we have given the wrong gateway. Can you remember again? It should be one dot one. That's the reason it's not pinging. If you check all the things, okay, four, it is not going to ping. Okay. For that, what we have to give? Go to DSCP again. So IP DSCP pool, I think entity. Okay, so no default router. That is 192.168.1.254. Okay, then default router is we give 192.168.1.1. That's it. Then write, save this. Now change once again here to all the routers. So now yeah, gateways, is. gateways change, right? Yeah. Okay. So now it's changing now. I think same thing uh, there also we have to do it. Okay, same thing. We also change here also. Go to global configuration mode, IP DSCP pool entity. Okay, uh, no default router. What we have given, 192.168.2.54, right? Okay, uh, default router IP address, 192.168.2.1. Right? Then come back and write. Save these configurations. Now, Update here also. You must have patient guys to do this lab. Yes. So can you check now? It's pinging, right? Two. Yeah, it's pinging. So now three. Five is there. Six. Okay. When you come this one, guys, please increase the time this one. Just click here. So now it will come. Otherwise, it, take, it takes almost one minute or two minutes sometime. Right, so 1.7. 107 is there? Yeah, is there. So now check check from PC to PC. So example, this server to this server. I'll open this server. 
OK, so I'll go to command prompt. So what is my IP configuration of this one? This is 2.7. So let's ping to 192.168. Uh, sorry, 1.7. Okay, I'm getting reply right. Check with 1.1. Yes, I'm getting reply. 1.2. So 1.3. 1.4. Right, so we have received all right. So packet sends, packet sends four, received four, lost zero. Can you see right? And check from this side. Obviously, I think I'm sure it's going to ping right. If you ping from this side to this side, this PC to this server is going to communicate with each other. Understood, guys? All of you? Yes, Taj. How about Srinidhi? Yeah, 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 Taj. Yes, Taj. Hari. Hari. Yes, Taj. Yes, Taj. Okay. What about Satish, Anisha? Yes, Taj. Getting. Understood? Yes. Yes. Yes, Taj. So can I go for next lab now? Yeah, Taj, sure. Okay. Okay, fine. So what I'm going to do, I will use this topology now. Okay. So what I'm this time, I'm going to use the three network guys. Okay. So this time I'm going to use your three networks for the static routing. So how I can do? So I will, what I will do, same, let me. Hi, Touch. Yeah. Yeah, can you send this to networks uh, file? No, no, I, I'll say it one time, what a time. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what I will do, same thing, uh, I'll copy this. Okay, Control C, Control V. Okay, so let me. Why undo is not working? It has multiplied already. So delete whichever is not available. We got double double time it has been copied. Undo is not working. The other reason I'm doing like this. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it doesn't work. And your same thing you can delete from this or also. Being one of the switch. Now 
the remaining all things you deleted. So let me see you guys first. Okay. I have not saved it. So this is, uh, let me create one folder here. So this is your routing. So here I am using your static route. So now I have saved it. In the same thing, so I'm going to. Uh, already it has been configured everything. So what I'm going to use the same topology. With the three routers, let me delete this all. HRLs, this one also deleted. So be carefully popping. It consumes time to some time. OK, so what I'm going to do guys right now we can see the label has been configured, so I will add one more network. So which I'm going to add it here. OK, here also I'm going to add the serial interface. Guys. So serial interface. I will connect with this cable. One, two, you can see. OK, you can see there's no serial cable for this router. So what what I should do now? Uh, so what I should do now? Uh, you have to add a mod module. If I'm not wrong. I have to add the module, right? Module. So, if, OK, so how I can add? Yeah, first we need to have power off. Add this, add this model. Yeah. Power off. OK, now we can and connect it. Set. So now we can able to be careful, guys. Otherwise, it will not allow you to connect. Now you yes. can see, right? Yeah. Right? OK, so now you add your switch now. Yes. <clears throat> so end user devices. So I will take one, two. Just I'll take one server. So let it connect auto. So now you label it this guys. So once if you are done this lab, then I'll show you this file guys. Okay. Okay, okay. That's okay. Same thing, so let's start. I think up to here we configured, right? 
Yes, it's all working. OK, because it's already is configured. If you check this one. So same thing is we copy paste from that one, right? OK, yeah, right. So IP interface brief. Because starting, I, I, I don't teach this copy paste this this thing because just to save the time I I did this. OK. Yeah, so oh, everything okay. is working. If you type show yeah. IP route, show IP route static, so it's working. Suppose if you ping from other network, so this uh, 192.168, I think 2.5 uh, is there. <clears throat> yes, we can reach that 2.6. Yes, uh, why it is right. dropping touch? Yeah, first time it will drop because of the ARP gas. It's a very good question. As I told you, get first packet will be dropped. We can see if I ping once again, so is there's a no packet drop here because okay. of the ARP. It takes time first time to communicate to uh, get the reply from your destination PC. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now, guys, up to here we configured everything is working fine. So we have configured static routing. Okay. So as per this thing, so what is the lab for this one? Need to configure so, a third part, third router. Yeah, third routers. So, static routing using three routers, right? Yes. This is using the three routers. Okay, so this is the lab is done. So now this lab. So first thing you have to assign the IP address this side, right? Correct. Yeah. This side we are not assigned because this center route is connected to router one and router two also. Router. Right. So the other is we have to configure that. So how we can configure it? So, so go to global configuration mode. Interface serial, serial. zero slash so check the interface one. name guys. Check. I think zero slash one slash one, one slash one. Slash one. one. Okay. Slash one slash one. Okay. Uh, what is the IP, IP address? Yeah, address. Can we do twenty dot one dot one dot one two five five dot zero zero clock rate. I can do sixty four thousand. Give no shot. That's it. So now we go to this router now. The new router which we have added. Sure. Enable. When you come this one, just increase this one. From here it will come. Otherwise, it takes one minute, two minutes sometime. Okay, so go to change the host name. This is my router R3. three. Okay. So first thing what we have to configure interface zero slash zero, I guess. Zero. Before entering this, so that sometime you'll get wrong interface. This is zero slash one slash zero, right? Zero. Yeah. Okay, check the interface and type. Okay, so give the IP address. Remember. 255.0.0.0. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Very good, guys. Who is that? Pranthi. Srinidhi. Srinidhi. Very good. Srinidhi. Yes, very good. Very good. So, IP address 20.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
1.0, 2.0, 3.0. Yeah. 2.5, 2.5, 2.0. Zero. Mm -hmm. No shit. Okay. Shit. Then we configure DHCP, right? Yes. Okay. DHCP pool. Pool entity. Yeah, so I'll One. give you the same entity. Network. Network. 3.0. 3.0. And default router. Default. I use 68, but 3.1. Okay. okay, for DNS, do we do 10.8.8.9. Yes. Okay, so 10. check now what show IP. Show IP, please. IP interface brief. Okay, so all the interfaces up now. So now this PC must get, get the IP address from yes. PSC. Yes, it is. So let's check. Yeah. Yes, we are getting right. You are getting 3.2 now. So here, guys, we have to pay some attention here. I'm sure I think you'll get confused here. Please pay some attention, guys. Here. Okay. How to configure the static routing using three routers. OK, so now as we know that, so directly connected, I think they will ping with each other, right? We can see right. So these guys can can ping directly. So even directly connected from this router to this router also they can ping. Okay, you can see right here. Yeah. This side. Okay. So even from router to this server is going to fail. From this router to this server is going to fail. Okay, for that we have to configure the static routing. Even if you check from, okay, so this router to this router three to router one, it will not ping. Right? From this router to this server also is not going to ping. Okay, now first understand how many networks are there now. Here. And here which network we configured? 20.1.1. Zero. Right. So yeah. then what is the what is this IP address? 192.168.3.0. Okay. So then how many networks are there here now? Mm, three. Three networks. One of networks. Okay. Which are those? 20.1.1.0 dot one dot zero zero slash eight. Then one more. One ninety two point one sixty eight point three point zero slash twenty four. Okay. That's it. Any anything else? Yeah, that's only two networks. Okay, now totally how many are there? Networks here? Five networks. Yes, very good. Totally, we have five different network. Network. Okay, so these are all different network guys. So let's configure this. This Static. router. Yeah. Static routing from this. So go to global connection configuration mode. IP route. Okay. So which other network I should configure here? To reach one network and two network and ten network, right? First, understand here. Let me put it color for this guy also. So, new one, I will add it into the, your pink color. And this one, I'll put it into the blue color. So green is this last guy. And there is a one more network, yellow. So yellow is this network, right? Any other color left? Take this. Yes. 
now look like good right color color rangoli good rangoli guys <laughs> So first understand, so right now I need to configure a new network has been launched in my organizations. So this is my network which are there. OK, so now I want to communicate with these two different network. OK, how do I configure? OK, if you want to reach to this network, which network this is? This is 2.0 network, go via. 20.1.1.1. Okay, let me write it on this IP address as well. The IP address for this one is 20.1.1.1. Okay, control C, control V, and and here this is 20.0.0.2. So now to reach to this motor, go via 20.0.0.1. This is heading back side here. Yeah. Let me write it down here. Now it is good, right? Okay. And this guy also put here. Now make sense, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Sir. okay. So now to reach to this network, go via. 20.0.0, 20.1.1, one one, right? Okay. To reach to this 1.0 network, go via same IP address, 20.1.1.1. One one. Now, there is one more right network, 10 network. To reach to this network, go via 20.1.1.1. One one. Understood, guys? Yeah, yeah, we are understood. Okay, don't get confused, guys. Because, you know, this is very important. Because most in static routing, so many people uh, they will get confused only just for. For only three routers. Imagine if you have added five, six routers. I'll repeat once again to reach to this network, go via 20.1.1 to reach to 10 network, go via 20. Same the gateway same, right? Yeah. To reach to this network, this network, this network for this router gateway is 20.1.1.1. Right. So let's configure this. <clears throat> so IP route okay, to reach to 192.168.2.0 network. Give the mask. Go via 20.1.1.1. Fine. Yeah. And to, re to reach to one network, one network, go via same IP. Same IP. Okay. Yes. Yeah. IP route, there is one more network 10 dot. OK, 1 dot 1 dot 0. Give the mass go via same IP address. What is the mask I given? Inconsistency address and mask. Is it correct we have given? I think we are. I have to give right. Yeah, uh, router, router two. Router two. Need to configure this one on router two. In router two, no. You have to configure here itself. I think zero dot zero dot zero. Yes. Center network. This network. I'm talking about this one. Right. So now in router one also to reach to this network, I should configure right. 20 network and three network. Right, let's configure router three. Router three we configure, router two I must configure, right? So IP route, static routing, okay, we can, uh, it is there only one dot in this routing table. In router to routing table, he can uh, able to reach only one network, right? So go to global configuration mode. So IP route to reach to 192.168.3.0 network. Go here, yeah, which IP guys? Uh, 20 dot. Uh, 
zero point zero point zero. Which IP address given to the third router? No, that IP address. Twenty dot one dot two. Two. Right two. Yeah. This one because I am in this router now. I am in this router. To reach to this network, go at this IP address. Understood, guys. Yeah. Yes. Twenty dot one dot one dot two. Right. Yes. Done. Suppose if you check show IP route, you can see right the three network has been learned now. So previously, one network, right, three network, one network is showing. So same thing we have to configure for your router, router one. one. Router one now. Configurable configure T. Mode to IP route. 192, 192, 168. 3.0.4. Go via which IP? 10.10.1.1.2. Uh, 10.1.1.2. Uh, Who said 2? 10.1.1.2. Anti. Very good, Kranti. Okay, guys, first understand. Please, before doing the lab. Right now I'm in R1. So reach to this network. The next hop is for this router one is router two, right? 10.1.1.2. Yeah. We have to give this IP address. And this router is one which contains both the routing table, right? For yes. three network and two network. If the, any traffic is come, it will take you to the this network. Okay. So this is 10.1.1.2. That's it. Okay. Then one more thing is right to reach to 20.0.0.0 network. So go via same IP address. 17.1.1.2. Mm -hmm. Yes, you type show IP route static. So we three can see all three network has been reached, right? Yeah. So then it should ping right now. Ping to 20.1.1.1. I can reach right. Yes. Twenty dot zero two dot two. Yes, I can reach. And what about uh, network? One ninety two one sixty eight uh, three dot one. Yes, I can reach. Three dot two. Yes. Three dot three. <coughs> three dot four. Three dot four is there? Yes. Why? Six. Only five. Only five is there. Okay. Understood, guys. This one. Uh, yes, touch. Let me save this first. Any confusion? We have we have to. Uh, commands. Everything is available. Show run. It will show you the command, guys. Anyhow, I'm going to send this file, right? Yeah. What about Amisha? Are you there? Amisha, are you following? Yes, I'm okay. following. Good. What about Chandan? Chandan, Punit, Amu, Maria, Anjana, are you there, man? Yes, yes, I'm here. What are you, man? No sound? Make some noise, man. Early morning, <laughs> enthusiastic, man. Yeah. You're following that, right? uh, Anjay? Yeah, following that. Understood. Can you able to configure? Because today we had to send me before end of the day, night, 12 o'clock. I want this file from your side. I want file from as all the guys. For example, like static, static route lab followed by your names like Amisha, Kranti, Anjay, Karthik. Even if you're not done also, if you stuck also, you send me the file I, so that I can check what, where you stuck. Sure. We can send individual or in group. First you try oh. individually. Uh -huh, no, you no, try no. individually. Uh, okay. Uh. No, no, I could because send uh, sending a file to your individual or in a group only we can, uh, I can send a file I asked. 
in the group man because this uh -huh. is the learning platform so that all okay. will, uh, you can see no issues uh -huh. but you are okay. here the file name should be your name and the lab name okay sure so that i can understand which lab you have done and who has done okay 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 sure that's you understood right can i go for next lab yes yes touch you can go yes touch okay is it feeling interesting guys to configure these all things yes touch okay so anyhow so two lab is ready for you so can you able to take this lab so now i am going to configure your default routing Default routing. Let me copy this. I don't know where it is on. Oh, gas in speaker. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, default routing. So let's call it with the default routing. So what I'm going to do, guys. So let me delete some of the repeated IP addresses. It's quite very easy to configure the default routing. So here I'm going to explain also how to delete the only specific configuration, guys, not all. So I want to remove only your static routing. How do I remove? It's very simple way, guys. So type for show run. Okay, DNCP let it be same. So I want the DNCP. So I am going to remove this one. Okay. So copy. Press type no in front of this one and paste. Gone. If you type show IP route static, it is not there. And same thing from this side. Show IP route static. So here it is there. So we need to remove that. No. Okay. And before that, first check this. Do show run. Right, so I want to remove this one. Copy, type no, and paste. You know, you check show IP route, it is deleted. Okay, so now what is the default routing, guys? So default routing is anything but a, it will send the routing informations. <coughs> okay, any network, any mask. That is the job, please. Maybe you configure class A, class B, class C network is running in your organizations. So in different department, maybe you configure one side class A, other network is class B, other network you configure class C. So in this those scenario, we can't configure a lot of network, right? Because in the routing table will increase. Right? So even the routing table also is going to increase. So in that scenario, so what we are going to configure? So we are going to configure your default routing. The configuration is very simple. How are you going to configure? So go to global configuration mode. So IP route. Okay, any network, any mask. Okay, go via 10.1.1. That's it. Maybe class A, class B, or class C, whatever. 
go to global communication mode. Okay, IP route, any network, any mask. So here 10.1.1.1, dot one dot one dot one. That's it. If you type show IP route, so we can see it has been configured with S star. Okay, what is S star means? We can see a star indicate candidate default. If you check from this side, you can see uh, do show IP route. You can see star indicate the default routing. Okay, so now I can able to ping right. So ping to 192, 168, I think 2.1. Yes, I can restart. 2.2. Yes. 2.3. Yes. 2.4. Yes. Six is not there, I think. Understood, guys? This is the default routing. Yeah, yeah Taj. You need Simple, right? To understand. Yeah. Yes, Taj. Default routing is very simple to configure. Any questions, guys, here? No touch. No touch. What about uh, Anjay? Venkat Venkat Reddy, are you there? Venkat Reddy, Vishwanath, Sharat Kumar, Lalit, Veena, Shashikant, Ratnakar, are you there? Yes, Taj. Yes, Taj. You understood? Did you understood, right? Yes, yes, Taj. Hari, are you there? Hari. Uh, Taj, one question. Hmm. So, where should we use default routing? So, default routing is one. Uh, default routing, especially most uh, uh, people use ISP sites because you know ISP people what they do means they configure default routing because. They will be having many, many customers, right? Thousands of millions of customers. They can't configure according to the what uh, they have configured inside their organization. Maybe you are using class A, class B, class C. So what they will means? Okay, when they configure default routing means, okay, any network they, they can go and access the internet. Okay. Means just we are giving permission to access all the guys to communicate. Default routing. In that scenario, we're going to configure your default routing. Okay, touch. Got it. Yes, Amisha, you're following? Yes, touch. Any, uh, any question, Amisha? Touch not as of now. You understood, right? How to configure the static routing? Yes, yes. Mm. Okay. Okay, so can I share this file now? Or yes, can, I, can I jump for other lab now? And uh, no, that's my that's request enough. Pranti. Okay. We'll we'll get confused. We'll get confused, Tash. 
Okay, okay. So I'll do one thing. I just I'll share the file. Okay, right okay. now. Okay. I uh, at least you do it for the two routers, static router. Okay. 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 Tash. Okay. So let me share that file now. file where is this man he was bad bad family Okay, so now lab one static routing. I think you can be able to do it. So right now, guys, and do it for the two star or using two routers. So try to configure that, guys. Before we complete the sessions, uh, still we have our uh, 25 minutes left. Okay, so I want you people to uh, do your uh, static routing at least using two routers, guys. Yeah, that's right. So right now we we'll go. I think I'll give uh, 15 minutes time. So before we uh, stop the session today, we'll do right. I think I have sent you the file also. We can open. We'll try that. Okay, try guys. Okay, so before one o'clock, you have to send me that file. At least one lab. Amisha, you also? Yes, sir, I will try. Try, try, no problem. Okay, so let me. I'll be waiting for your file, guys.
Guys, done? Anybody? I'm waiting for a file. No, Taj is still doing, Taj. Still doing. You have five minutes left, man, for today's session. Chandan, you are doing? Chandan, Anjay, Satish, Punit. Yes, Taj, I am doing. What Amesha, you are doing? Yes, Taj, I am doing. And make sure that uh, IP address should be different, guys. Don't use the same IP address what I used. Use a different IP address. Anybody facing difficulties, guys, to do this lab? No touch. What about Anjay? Any challenging facing Anjay to do this lab? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Yes, tell me. Yeah, Go ahead. Yeah, this is me, Anjay. As I was saying, yeah, okay. as you asked me, uh, you know, um, facing challenges, yeah, somewhere. But what I will do, I will go through the video and um, we'll move forward. Okay, no issues. So we can do one thing, guys. So uh, uh, before today, 
until today night also you can send and make sure you send with all uh, static routing using two routers using three routers and default routing and make sure that it should be the different IP address. What IP address I use? Don't use that IP address. Uh, use your own IP address. So being your uh, network engineer, so use your own IP address. Maybe use class A, class B, class C. Doesn't matter, but they should be communicate with each other. All the different networks should communicate with each other for using your static routing configuration. But networks should be different, right? Yeah, network should be different. That is the main purpose of doing routing protocol, right? Exactly. Yeah. So what we can do? So once uh, uh, I complete this session today, so make sure that guys, please complete it this, this lab. Just spend, I think, one hour. Just watch, I think, the uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Then start doing your lab by yourself. Yeah, sure. That's yeah, sure. That's okay. okay then. So oh, please sure uh, touch. tomorrow, guys. So tomorrow I'm going to start the RIP, guys. Routing information protocol. Protocol. Okay. okay. So to understand that, so that the reason I would ask you to just complete this lab. Okay, sure, with, with the end of the day, we will send. Okay. Once, uh, whenever you are done, so please send me in the group. No issues. Okay, okay touch. touch. Okay, okay, so okay, then, then see you tomorrow, guys. I'll be waiting for your yeah. file, guys, today. Yeah, yeah, sure, touch. sure, touch. Thank you. Okay, Hi, thank touch. you.